Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we got the Brightliner Cascadia Legacy Sleeper Edition with a Cummins ISX 605 horsepower with a automatic 10 speed. Pulling a the Dorsey 48 foot reefer loaded with fish. Nope, not fish, frozen fruits. 31,847 pounds of frozen fruits. We're going to be going from Fresno to Red Bluff to the uh, rail yard in Red Bluff from the Walmart Logistics Center. There. So, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. That's going to be the first challenge. But you seen my backing job, I was kind of crooked there, but that's about the best I could do. Turn left. Turn left, turn left. Okay, we'll turn left. As soon as we get a green light. Think about like driving a school bus with a semi-trailer on the back of it. Inside's modeled too. So you got everything back there. Got 267 miles to go today. Sun's coming up, so it should be daylight here before too much longer. Ready to turn right. Turn right. I kind of figured that car was going to do that. They usually do. I wish they'd just keep going, but whatever. You want to stop and build a freeway, let me out, go right ahead, I don't care. It makes it hard to merge properly. Now with this mod you do get five different trucks. You got the Freightliner, you got uh, Freightliner Cascadia, you got the Volvo, which is uh, 730, B&L 730. Um, you get the Peterbilt, the 3... 360-something? I'm not too sure what the Peterbilt one is. Let's see. Freightliner, Volvo, Peterbilt. You get the KW. 
and uh, Western Star. So, the file size is a little bit over a gig, which isn't really too bad for five trucks. So. go ahead and get over and start slowing down because we know they're just going to cut right in front of us. Like I said. The dude had a fucking leaf blower out there. Did you see that? I don't know what he was doing with the leaf blower, but he had to have had it out. Realistically, I'm pretty sure this would be illegal in the state of California um, due to the length. The overall length. Now the axle length should be alright. But it, yeah, it would be alright because it's only a 48 foot trailer. so. I believe it's 48 feet from the rear axle of the truck to the front first axle on the trailer. Can't be no more than 48 foot. There's the whole trailer is 48 foot, so we know that we're within range. I don't remember what the overall length limit is, but I'm pretty sure we're, we'd be over it. So we're way over. Well, we're over 100 foot long. Watch this little red car, he's going to cut over. Maybe not. He is thinking about it. And turn the engine brake down, put it on the lowest setting. If that truck would hurry up and finish passing up there, we'd be able to go somewhere. Like two swift trucks trying to pass each other.
like how the trailers look like the side of the airplane. That's pretty cool. We won't get too carried away with speed. Keep it around 60. That almost went to Mark Drove for Stevenson Transport. Some stuff came up and it just didn't work out at the time. I think they'd be a pretty good company to work for. Keep in mind that lane to the right of us, that's a turning lane too. Welcome to Stockton. Nobody's going into other lanes, so we got a funny. I don't know why they got two turn lanes turned into one like that, but it does. Get ready to turn right. Put that white turn car, we're right. going to swing it wide. I guarantee you this truck's turning right too, so... He just ate the guardrail. bit wide but I'd rather be a little bit too wide and too short that's what she said Something got a bear in there oh they got the shut down over there that high-speed pursuit or something wouldn't surprise me this is California So it looks like they're going to remake uh, or redo California. In this game, so that would be pretty interesting, pretty nice. California could use an update. Really? See why the damn ambulance is going so slow. Now he's gonna speed up. I'm gonna just stay in the center lane. Looks like they hired more people to work on maps too, so maybe the new maps will come out a little bit faster than what they have been. At least that's what I got from what it said on Steam. I think I gotta stay in this lane here. I think. Keep 
Yeah, it should be all right in this lane. Or slow down, don't want to get no ticket. Maybe I should make me a map. What the hell would I make the map of, though? Probably make one like a Florida. I think that'd be pretty cool. Wouldn't be too bad to make a map of Florida. I'd say New York, but that'd be a nightmare to make. And I probably wouldn't get very far on it. I did make a map back in, uh, what was it, 18 wheels of steel pedal to the metal? It's basically just a straight road with a bunch of hills on it, but I didn't never publish it or put it out as a mod or anything. It was just something I was kind of messing around with. I should say to make an external program so where you wouldn't have to edit it in game. Because if in game editors anything like it used to be, it's junk, garbage, crap. What was 18 wheels of steel convoy? Remember that game? You get in a convoy of trucks and you have like, like a line of trucks across the top of the screen, however big the convoy was. That was pretty cool. I remember playing what was it, way back at Hard Trucks 2. Had the landmines laying across the road, bandits trying to steal your load from you. The tunnel system you always get lost in. Spending hours and hours and hours just to try to find that truck that looked like a Peterbilt. <laughs> Circle in the whole map. Good old days. It's come a long way since that. I tried to find that game. Can't even, can't even find it anymore. Hard drugs too.
back when SCS Soft was partnered up with some other place in NCS or something like that I think it was that game would look like with a reshade on it. That'd be a map to make have an area like backing area we got all different kinds of backs offset back alley back parallel park call it the backing challenge how good of a backer are you Exit right. Exit right. I don't know if I'm going to be backing this thing up when we get there or not, but I'll have to wait and see what it looks like, and then we'll give it a try, maybe. clutch and downshift but doesn't do no good. Get up here I'll give you a good outside look at the truck. Just didn't really get to see it. It was dark. Sounds like there's time for new door seals or something. Like a hell of a whistling noise. See if the light screen or not. That is. Oh, there's one over here on the corner. But I thought I was supposed to turn there. Not that one, the next one. dropping off at the rail yard and yeah, should be able to back it in if it's like all the other rail yards well I don't know some of them's pretty damn small this looks like it's gonna be that small one but I'll back it back in the corner keep right and then turn right turn right I'm gonna go hit that cement wall sticking up there. A 
No, this is the easy one. Yeah, I should be able to do it. Unless they want it here by this container. You have arrived at your destination. Doesn't look like it. Mm. But yeah, this might be a mistake. Lift up the trailer axle here. in the corner my bad there we go trying to push it out of the way I guess oh yeah we got plenty of room there oh no well I don't think we're gonna be able to do this one that big ass trailer sticking out there we could try to blindside it but Park it here beside it. It take me an hour and a half to back this thing in there. Quick outside look. Seventy one miles, six hours, thirty four minutes, fifty seven gallons of fuel, sixteen thousand four hundred and forty six dollars. Level one forty one, almost one forty two. Getting close. Need about another grand on the XP. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's a Freightliner class cast date. Legacy sleeper. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe share leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day